Welcome to episode 3 of the Flooded Masterpiece. Uh, today's episode is all about bricklaying on a curved wall. So without further ado, we'll get on with it, shall we Jay? Yep. Let's do it. Let's do it. Top tips when you build a curved wall. Tip one, when you do your foundations, if you show them down there, look Jay, put a little bit extra width on your foundation because when you're quite often, when you're building a curved wall, you might want to bring your wall out a little bit or bring it in a little bit. And if you've got extra width on your foundation, you can do that rather than running out of space. That's tip one. Tip two, obviously get your depth on your foundation to the correct depth for the wall. Tip three, get your foundations level. Tip four is gauge. This is gauge. So the bricks plus a bed is 75 millimeters every single time that you put a brick on. So you just need to know your 75 mil times table. Get your tape measure. Measure that up there. 525 is gauge. So that's right. So when I transfer my levels up there now, as long as the concrete is level, which we know it is because we did it, as long as 525 is up there, when you get up there, you'll know that if you keep checking your 525, your level, you're going to be level all the way through. Second check is to look at your spirit level bar. Next tip is to keep an eye on how many tips you're giving because I've forgotten. So I can't remember what the next tip is. So we're on to the next tip anyway, right, which is level. So come closer, Jay. What I tend to do is I tend to lay four bricks. You can even lay five. I lay four or five bricks. If you come close, you put these bricks in, which I've just done, and you get them as close to level. In fact, you want them slightly high. So if you show the bubble, that's slightly high. You don't want to be going low because obviously you'll have to take your bricks up. So what you do is, it's a curved wall. If I start hitting every individual brick like you're taught in college, it ain't going to work. Every brick layer hits his level, although you shouldn't. That's another tip. So, little tap on your level, put pressure down on your level to so keep that side on your brick, this side on your bricks. Little tap because it did lay them slightly high. Job done. Next tip is pl two plumbing points per brick. So, there's the first one at that, 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 that edge. So if you look down there now, you'll see that that level is all touching. They're not tipping, so it's plumb over a little bit actually. There we are. That's plumb there now. Then you just transfer your level down onto the next one and then you just keep going along every single one make sure it's plumb on every single brick that you lay coming around the bend last tip is you sort your cement your mortar if the laborer haven't mixed your mortar correctly doing a curved wall is going to become really difficult to hit your bricks and maneuver them where you want them to do so make sure that you mix 
is absolutely spot on. And Jay's behind the camera. Jay, are you doing your mix spot on? Yes, I think yeah, so. He's absolutely doing a great job. And then the last tip and the most important one is if you're laying bricks and you're getting an old git like me and your back's aching, get somebody else to build your wall. When you cut the point in or joint in, top tip for you with that, take your glove off. Come close, Jay. The way you want, look. These ones here have been laid recently. So you can see my finger is going in there quite easily. When you come to this one, it's firmed up quite a lot. So what that is telling me, that that's ready for jointing. And the top course is a little bit green, a little bit wet. So all you want to do is get your jointing bar, standard Marshalltown jointing bar. Do your perp joints first. Top course is too wet. Perp joints. Once you've done your perp joints, <coughs> Jay's got hiccups. My bad. <laughs> and then use the heel. I always use the heel of the jointing bar. Nice long strokes. This one there, look. Nice long strokes. Don't press too hard. Let the jointing bar do the work. And then just another one. And another one. Just keep rubs going back and forth. Yeah. And that's it. And then what we got, what do you do with that horse hair brush? What we got, when our set's a little bit now after break, we got a horse hair brush, nice and soft. And we just give that a, a brush over. Lastly, when you were in the van a couple of weeks ago and you had hiccups, what did I do? You scared me. I scared you to death, didn't I? I went, you did. In the van and you went, oh, oh, oh. Like what happened to the hiccups? Oh, they went. They went, didn't they? I think it's time for another so one. if you've got hiccups, or you know somebody that's got hiccups, frighten the life out of them without killing them and giving them a heart attack. <laughs> and uh, see if it works, because it absolutely did work with us, Jay, didn't it? Oh, it did 100%. It did. yeah. Twenty past four, it's just about getting dark, can't do any more work. The sun is going in, it's getting dark, it's getting cold, so we're gonna hessian up now. So we are this is the first day of the third week. We're on a Monday. Um and we are a day and three quarters into building this. So you can see now it's starting to come along. That's the height before brick on edge. And then we've got the steps starting to get set out here. Um and obviously they'll go up here. So you can watch that. And then this is the curved wall that meanders down there. What I'm going to have to do, oh God, what I'm going to have to do is, because this point here is so curved, I can't put stretchers around there. I'm going to have to put headers. So if you don't know what stretchers or headers is, um, tomorrow, Tuesday, hopefully I can show you how we get around doing such a severe curve. So, yeah, regroup tomorrow. And we'll uh, give it another go then, but it's moving. And so am I, into the van to go home. Morning, welcome to Thermal Tuesday. It's cold today. So this is what we've got going on today. We've got, we're gonna put, put in the, uh, still putting the curved brickwork in, and we're gonna be putting that section, <clears throat> like I said yesterday, um, in with uh, header bricks. So without further ado, I'll show you exactly what I mean. So when you get these bricks we're using, we're using concrete bricks. That's what the client wanted because they match the house there, look. So they're pretty much the same as that. That's them. And that's these. So what I've got to do is this, this row, let me stand back a little bit. This row on the edge of the brick, just one row, comes as what we call a head, a headers. So they, they, they got the same texture as the face of the brick on, on the head of the brick, but only on this one row here. So all the rest of the brick, and I know it's difficult to see, so that's got the texture on it, and that actually hasn't, that's smooth. It's exactly the same as the back of the brick. The same is the same as that, right? So what I'm gonna have to do is, if I was lazy, then I'd just get a lump hammer or a, a brick hammer 
smash it in the middle by there and then I'd just be able to use this and I'd be able to use this and if I kept them all smooth there wouldn't be anything wrong with that I would kind of be you know what's done what's acceptable but I don't really want to do that I want it to look nice so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the armor bolster and I'm going to cut a line with the armor bolster down there so that I can use this one and I can use that one um, same thing but I'm going to be using the face of the brick rather than the head of the brick so you should get that texture run, running through and it'll look like the house does it you won't, you, you won't see any uh, any smooth sided bricks on it so there we are I've got a load of bricks to cut now that's what we're going to do so I'll take you around the uh, around the back and crack on so cutting these bricks in right really to get a half what you, what you should do to get a half is put your half on there like that mark your half that's your half right but then what you'll be getting is if you do that as well on a brick you get your 10 mil per joint so we're not going to cut those twice otherwise you'll be here forever on sunday so we'll set the bond up and what we'll do to cut these bricks so like i said to get the to get the textured side to it what we're going to do we're going to find where the middle is you don't want your bolster going that way because you'll see it on your face work so just i gotta be careful because like my back i got a bloody bad shoulder as well jay haven't i yes falling apart i think <laughs> And that's it. That's your half a brick. We've got these made now. And we just carry on. Get your half to it. It's like two or three hits and it's done. I suppose if you if you see some of the young lads on site in their twenties, one or two, one one and a half smash and it's done. But the old git's got a bad shoulder, so we've got to try and. Uh, nurse it and if I bend down I have a bad back don't I? <laughs> and if I kneel down I've got a bad knee haven't I Jay? He's too old. <laughs> I think I'll just uh, I'll just SAS I'll just yeah. stand and stare all day <laughs> and watch you so you know look so two nice hits ow <laughs> two nice hits there we are job done so oh, leaning tower of Pisa so what we'll do, look, we'll carry on, we'll get another load of these cut now, and then uh, we'll start laying and come back to you. There we are, two courses in, so that means that's all set out now. If I can get over here without falling over, breaking my neck. So, that is it. So you go all the way around here, up there, and then we got that meandering curve into the steps up there then. So, all going good, Jay, isn't it? Happy days, and Jay's learning how to cut a couple of bricks. He got the helmet all ready to rock and roll. Now we got the mixer set up, so you're learning, Jay and you, to uh, keep ahead of me, basically, mate, and do things in a certain order to be able to do that, isn't it, mate? It's not easy, is it? Nope. You've got to do a lot of uh, like looking around and thinking. If you've left a few things out, haven't you? But yeah. it's all part of learning, isn't it? It is. There we are. Right, let's get my back down there then, and uh, get crippled and lay a few more. Building this wall up now. So this is where we're at with it. We've done that curve, we've set that out, we've got one more course to lay on it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you how to lay this top course. So here we go. And it's all on the level. Obviously you can't put a string line on this. Cobble's getting a little bit dry. So, and this is type of work, you know, when you get a bit more experience, you can put this in fine, but you don't wanna be rushing it. It's not like you're putting a string line up and your profiles and your corners up. You've got to be a little bit more kind of meticulous with it. So, put up your brick up. All I tend to do, like I said, I tend to lay about four. What's this two. one is a three quarter and if you come close Jay I'll show them what I mean by that just lay this now 
Jay's got my three quarters. So this is three quarter. You put that on here and it just brings you onto half bond. Because we've gone into half, half bricks to get on the curve. So check them on it. Right, so you put them roughly where you want to put them. Sorry, just grab my level. <laughs> Tap. Cut the tap to get it level. Right, that's done. And then all you want to do is plumb. You might want to come a bit closer for this, G. Plumb in there. Two plumbing points per brick. Two. That's one. Two. So they're done. It's not your level. You just use this now as a point the level. Combo's a little bit stiff. So what you should be saying now, Jay, is as the labourer, the brick you say the combo's a bit stiff. Labour should always say, yeah. well then you have to use it a bit bloody quicker there. Well, yeah. So Easy now. So you start to come off bond. Yes. So bond is actually our bond is there. So don't, don't panic with it. What we'll do is move these forward a little bit. Some of these, what's happening is some of these, because we're cutting them in half and we're keeping the big face, we are a little bit bigger and a little bit smaller on some, aren't we? Yeah. So, I'll change that one. You know what, Jay? Yeah. I haven't had to do that, build in the whole thing. And as soon as we start filming, Yep, it's typical. The curse of the camera. Yes. Right. So now we'll chuck that in there. Right. Don't forget that was level. So get your thumb, push your level onto this brick, and then you're just tapping to that spot on level. And then same thing again, turn every single brick, which is painful, but once you do that, once you finish your curve, the curve will look really, really nice. I think it's the only way. I suppose you could, like, you could do every other brick. You could even do like every two. But my OCD won't let me. And Jay won't let me either, will you, Jay? Nope. Jay will kick, kick my face in, won't you, Jay? If I yeah. Even start doing that. where you want them, where you think is right. Same process then. Back to work. 
Huh? Back to work. Oh, back to leveling and plumbing. Back to leveling and plumbing. Right. Again, use that thumb. That's level. And again, same process. Plumb. And if it, all these are touching down our level now, right? Yeah. It tells me that that is a nice curve because it's all level and it's all plumb. We just get to the end of this now. Second one, that's two. Spot on level, plumbing up again now. Plump. Four. And then we just show them now, Jay. That's up to the level. What we got going on there now is a brick on edge, it'll go on top of there, right the way around. We got this part to build now where Jay is. Uh, so we'll get that finished and show you what that's like when it's done. There we are then, one wall. So that's all sorted there now. Just joint finish jointing it all up. Customers happy, they come back. They're happy with it. So job done. The reason why we never built the back of the wall was because we were waiting for a delivery of concrete blocks. Um, so if anyone's thinking, why haven't you built the back at the same time? That's why. The blocks are out the front now. Jay's just stacked them all out, so we're just going to get one more course in. It's about quarter to four. I'll get that course in now, use up a bit of combo, and uh, crack on with the back tomorrow. The plan of attack is to get all this complete up to here, and then we'll get all that complete up to that bit there, all brick on edge on, and then all that's done, all this side's done, the right hand side, and then we just got the, the steps here to contend with Jay, haven't we? So tomorrow we'll get the back done and get on with the brick on edge mate is it as long as it's not too cold yeah another top tip for you so we set this up now look so when you're working on the back of the wall what you want to do is when you brick on edge you put your brick on edge on here you want this side of the brick to finish flush or plumb then with the back end of your brick on edge so rather I blind you so I you know I keep either either I keep getting the tape measure out or I do this so what I'm going to do, so that's the brick on edge. So this is the external course of brickwork, which is this course of brickwork. And this being the internal course of brickwork on top of the blocks you just saw. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut a piece of batten from there to here, to the inside. So every time I go around that bend, I don't have to keep getting my tape measure out and faffing about. So there we are then, just cut that now. So that's that. So every time now, I lay the brick in there. If I was laying it there, you could, you could, you know, you get a brick on top or whatever, but I'm down here. So every time I lay that brick, as long as my brick touches the outside of that there, I know that it's wide enough, or not too wide, or not too shallow, to, uh, to take the brick on edge. So, on to the next top tip. Next top tip is thermometer bricklaying. When you're bricklaying, you can see that we got a bit of a frost here this morning. Um, so you've got to be careful. So, you know, if it's freezing conditions, if it's below freezing, then you can't lay bricks because obviously your mortar will crystallise and it'll freeze and it'll just become like powder and become useless. So get yourself a, 
the thermometer. Now, we've come in this morning. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. It's cold. The sun have not had a chance to come up yet. It is warming up to about 4 or 5 degrees. So what we've got to do, we've got to stack up. We've got to get everything sorted. And, you know, we can't really be using the mortar below, I'd say, 3, 4 degrees. Um, and then we're going to have to... So what we've done as well is we've put... Or we're going to put... <coughs> So we're going to put our uh, winter mix in there, which is like a frost proofer. We got waterproofer because of the water issues behind the wall. So we got those two additives and Feb going in the mix as well. So what the wall, what the frost frost proofer does? Don't be disillusioned. The frost proofer doesn't protect against frost. The frost proofer it sets the mortar quicker. So where where is you waiting all day to joint up on brickwork? Uh, you put frost proofer in there, it'll just wrap it hard in the cement a bit quicker and make the cement have its chemical reaction quicker, therefore setting the, the cement or your mortar quicker. So but it, it doesn't protect against frost. So be careful. So we wait for this temperature to rise now and uh, crack on. Right, there we are. They say the mercury never lies. That is about three and a half, four degrees. And it's been rising. It was zero when we got here. Um, so I've been keeping an eye on it. It's about half nine, 20 to 10. So we're going to start laying. And then what we're going to probably have to do is we're probably going to have to pack up a little bit early, aren't we? Because if keep an eye on that, and if the temperature starts coming down, we're going to have to call it a day in Hessian up, mate, aren't we? So, huh? I call it a day. I call it a day. Mm. Yeah. Right, let's get on with it while we can then, is it? So this bad boy, come in here, Jake. So what I'm doing, look. See me taking my tape measure, like I said, I just put that on there and I can just quickly, really easily, move that template to where I want it. And then when you put the top course on, you just use a brick then just to go off that. That's level to that. That's plumb, plumb both sides, so it's all ready to rock and roll. So that's quite a good little trick for you. Uh, good morning. Welcome to Friday. It's freezing cold again. We've got the thermometer out. That's been out. It's in front of me. It's been out all night. So let me spin the camera around. That's that job done. So let's have a look at this little bad boy. Where are we? So we are about... He's just under two degrees there. So you can see, look, the Hessian. I don't know if you can see it. But that's got a layer of frost on top of that. We double lapped it, the Hessian, last night. I have looked underneath and checked it. There's no ice crystals on it at all. Compo seems to have gone off pretty well. So, yeah, all looking good. But what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to um, change things up a little bit because tomorrow, Jay, we looked at the weather and it's getting cold, isn't it? It's getting colder. So I think the, we're pushing our luck with, with the bricks. We're on the limit. So tomorrow it's not going to happen. So we're going to have to stop doing the steps and the brickwork. We're going to have to move some other things around and, and change things. That's what we're going to have to do, isn't it? Jay's finished stacking out, I'll get him on the camera and we'll show you how to lay a couple of brick on edge around the curve. So brick on edge, but before that, people have been commenting about the old Lionel Blair, about the hair. There's a reason for that. I'm warm in the nights, I don't have to turn the central heating on because i got a moth to keep me warm, Jay. <laughs> so I think everybody in the UK should grow hair and it, well, you'll end up looking like me, but uh, that's not a good thing, is it? Anyway, no. Brick on edge. So we're coming around here now, brick on edge. So basically, again, it's all on the spirit level. So Jay's done a lovely mix. I'm only saying that because he's not right next to me. <laughs> he's done a lovely mix. We've got a wall tie on there now, tying the courses in. So again, what I tend to do, don't go going too far ahead of yourself. So we'll just do five bricks, right? So better, five bricks. Keep it nice and simple. Right, so there's your bed. So what I'm doing with these, if you come right in now, okay, what I'm doing is obviously we've got to, we've got to pin mm -hmm. these around the corner. So what I'm doing is when I perp them up, I'm, I'm emphasising more compo that side, this side. You need less this side. Let's get rid of that. Chuck that on there, use your trowel to get in where you want it. So what I'm doing, come right in. I'm not even bothering plumbing these up. Now. Remember I said plumb every brick? 
yeah, I'm not even bothering. I'm just going to the iris on that. And as long as I got my curve to go to, obviously you don't want to be laying your brick like that. You see that lip there? But likewise, you don't want to be laying it like that. You want to be laying that side of the iris in line with the iris that's on the headers you've just laid. So it's just following the curve, really. So we'll curve him up again. More on that side with a bigger joint. So there's two. I was thinking about cutting them on my like Jay. Yeah. Thinking are we gonna have to cut them, but we're just about managing to get away with it. Yep. Just. Just. There's three. So I'm trying to lay these higher to the spirit level bubble. Like I said before. So I can hit them down to where I want them. to last stage get your level you see how i have laid it high it's got that energy yep so all you do now is what i'm doing with my finger see the levels rocking mm -hmm. i'm literally pushing with my finger i'm pushing down that side and i'm pushing the level down yeah. so i'm getting a accurate reading both sides a couple of taps that's level you also want to do it at the back Taps last level, recheck the front. If you're really worried about it, plumb these brick on edge, but I don't bother. I'm, I, can, I can see that the curve's coming round now. So that's it, we'll carry on going around there. I think we got out of jail with them. And uh... Right, hello, it's Friday, it's freezing cold, it's minus two, it's 10 o'clock. We waited a couple of hours for it to warm up, it's not happening. Helen, our client, has just brought a bacon roll out for us. She's in the background, so thank you very much, Helen. She doesn't want to be on YouTube. Jay, Jay's got his as well, so we'll get these down. Let's see what's happening, but you can see it just looks absolutely freezing. Can't really mix mortar in this, so let's get these bacon rolls down and uh, see, what, see what we do.